Happy welcome to the Micro Soldering Show. My name is Ben. And yeah, today in the morning I have something, uh, something, something, something really special for you. Um, yeah, it's about dead Nants, okay? And first I want to say thank you to my man, Wayne Bonici. Uh, I will link him under the video. So you should give him some donations for his research work. Um, he did a lot within the last years and he works on great things. So check him on Facebook and um, give him that what he needs to have. So give him the nation for his work. Okay, so starting at the NAND situation at moment. So we have the problem <clears throat> at moment that Apple closed a lot of, um, a lot of, uh, it's hard for me in English. So Apple closed a lot of holes which uh, were used to get GSX data. Okay, if we got a phone which has a dead NAND mostly on the iPhone uh, 6 to the iPhone 7 plus series at iPhone 8 starting at iPhone 8 um, the NAND situation is much better because they are not uh, as much dead as before in the in the versions before in the series before but um, uh, starting at the iPhone 6 to the iPhone 7 plus we really have a lot of dead NANDs so phone begins to loop starts looping boot looping uh, you can't restore it. You got error 9, you got error uh, 40, 40, uh, 4013, 4014, things like that. You have a dead NAND. In this situation, it was always needed to get GSX data. Okay, so in the NAND, in the system config partition, it's stored the uh, serial number, the Wi Fi, and the Bluetooth MAC address for the NAND. Okay, uh, for, for this device. And you have to get that data that's pretty important to get the data okay so without this data we can't activate the phone anymore we can't use it anymore so in this case you contacted the gsx service and they got um, this data from an apple server okay so and then you paid for the data and you got a, 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 um, a serial and a wi-fi and bluetooth mac address okay so with that data, you, you could write it uh, onto a new NAND with a NAND programmer like the JC or uh, the WL or just another NAND programmer. And um, then you could restore the phone and it worked. But at moment, GSX data are hard to get. You have to wait a long time. They are pretty expensive. You pay about 30 to 35 euro or 40 euro and much more sometimes, okay? I even saw 50 or 55 euro for NAND data and you have to wait a long time, seven to 10 days, seven to 20 days, sometimes 30 days. And often they come back and they can't give you the data, okay? So now we have a pretty cool thing here we can get out this data out of that NANDs until NAND storages um, until the iPhone 7 Plus, okay? Starting at the iPhone 8, it's not possible at the moment to get data out of the dead NAND, but um, until the iPhone 7 Plus, it's possible. And I want to show you how that works because that's pretty crazy, okay? So it's not a, a video where I use my microscope, it's just about getting NAND data out of a dead NAND. And by the way, you should get Fixdesk, a repair management software which is including POS and billing system. And we are working on much more features at, at the moment. We developed it here in a small team in Germany and it's just crazy. So get it, baby, get it. So enough advertisement. We start by showing you, or I start by showing you what we have here. But I have to... I had an important message, so just give me one second, okay? Okay, done, sorry. So we start by switching to the on-hands camera and we do it like that, okay. Here we got, this is something I show you later. So we go to the on-hands camera and let's see if I can, if I can do something. Okay, that's pretty okay. Here we have the P7 Pro module, an end reader, okay? And I want to show you the 
JC app here. Can you see that? Yes, you can see that, okay? So we connect an end reader, port is opened. Now we just wait a short time. So, and if I want to query info, it tells me no disk, okay? But we have, we have a NAND in here, okay? We have a NAND in here. Close it again. I want to query the info. Just wait a short time, query info. Refresh, we connect an end reader again. We wait a short time, we click on query info, we get nothing, okay? I reconnect the NAND reader, I refresh, refresh, come 17, open the port, wait a short time, try to query, try to query informations, this NAND is completely dead, nothing happens, okay. What would you do now? Normally, you would now check, do I have the EMEI number of the phone and um, then generate the serial or just give it to my GSX service and they give me the serial and they give me the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth MAC address, I have to pay and I have to wait and I don't know at the moment if this works. But we have a solution for this. Da -da -da. You can use the Machiko box, you can even use the IP box, but the IP box isn't, uh, isn't manufactured anymore, so this is the... The new thing on the market, the Machiko box, okay? It works from the iPhone uh, for iPhone 6 uh, NANDs and here it is works for the iPhone uh, 6S to the iPhone 7 Plus, okay? So we have the dead NAND here, right in here. What we need is getting the right software and the right drivers for the Machiko and that's pretty hard to get so I will upload that shit on uh, mega.nz and I will post the link under this video so you can download it directly there. You need the Machiko box version 1084, okay? And if you got that, it's just about installing that, installing the drivers and then you can use the Machiko box. The Machiko box is a NAND reader which is just much better than the other readers and the software can do much more. So, I want to get in the Machiko software here. Give me a second. Okay, so now we have to start up the Machiko software. And then I have to take that here. Machiko, Machiko. Okay, this is the Machiko box software in the version 108 full. I connect the Machiko box and I click on 6S to 7 plus NAND, okay? The other module is for 4S until 7 plus. Then I put in, here, you can see it better here, I, can, I put in the NAND, okay? So I wait a short time, and I want to read information. So, hard disk information, reading hard disk information, Hard disk is not responding, okay? Okay, this NAND is really dead, but we need the important data out of it for activating the phone. Okay, and now there is something which is really special. We click on Erase Partition, then I have already erased all data, delete partition table and boot information, and then retain partition table and boot information. Okay, we do that, and now the Machiko box fixes the bad blocks on this NAND, okay? So we just have to wait a short time and this is pretty crazy, pretty crazy and I want that you give Wayne Bonici the nations for that, okay? Because he worked a lot on that shit. So he did it for the IP box, it's just a little different to do. I did it with the Machiko box here and this way with the Machiko works perfectly, okay? So now we just fix the bad blocks and after that I'm pretty sure that we can read the NAND again and so we have the important data out of it. We have the serial and we have the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth MAC address and that's a pretty crazy thing which, which changes a lot in this market, okay? 
So operations are done and now we click on read information and BAM! We are back! We have all important data out of the NAND so we can back up the bottom layer, we can push the bottom layer onto a new NAND and we have the important data back that's people. You have to understand, I'm really hyped about that because that's just crazy shit, okay? Nobody thought that this would be possible. That's a game changer. Really, that's a game changer. Think about that. This is so fucking crazy. You can, you just need the Machiko box, you need the software and you need to know how to do. And you can restore all the dead nands. It's 100% average, okay? 100% success. 100% success. You get of a of that NAND, you get definitely the Wi-Fi, the Bluetooth, Mac and the serial. It's crazy. It's fucking crazy. It's another thing if the NAND is uh, is cracked completely, okay? If it is physical, uh, physically damaged, it's another thing. But mostly, the problem is like this. And it's only to fix the bad blocks and after that you can get again the NAND data. And I think it's a game changer and I want to share that knowledge with you. So... Get the Machiko box, we ordered a big stock on that, so you can get it directly at our site, our online shop will, uh, will, goes, will go online uh, at the upcoming weekend, but you can take it on AliExpress, you can take it on Union Repair, you can take it on VIP Fix, whatever. So I don't want to, to make a lot of money now on selling Machiko boxes because I do my money with data rescues and uh, selling ICC Pros and things like that. Um, we're just building a, an online shop at the moment where we sell the tools which we think are really good to have. So that is, in my opinion, the best NAND reader in the world. <clears throat> and you can restore the important data out of that NAND. So that's a game changer. I hope you like the video. Subscribe the channel. Give me a thumbs up. Give me comments under this video. And um, get fixed desk. That's pretty crazy because fixed desk is one thing with uh, which I make money um, get the ICC Pro because I really do a lot of research work just for you and these are things which are just a thank for me for my work which I do uh, here every day so I would be really happy if you would buy the ICC Pro if you would register for fixed desk and um, just uh, test it you got 14 days free and get the Machiko box if you want to get it from us no problem just give me a message an email or starting at the weekend I will advertise the new online shop here on our channel then you then you can get it there too or you can get it at a lot of other Chinese sellers like Union Repair you can get it even on AliExpress and things like that so get the Machiko box it's crazy you can restore data out of that lens starting at the iPhone 4s ending at the iPhone 7 plus I wish you a nice day and we see us with the next one yes Ben goodbye peace